stages, Guadalajara over on the far side away quickly, but Rolo is up there as well, out wider then in the early stages, Wing Darjon and right there too is Mota Farid, the 200 to 1 outsider now Kieran Fallon on Yates is up searching for a handy position, the question is will he go on, in fact I think his uh, mind is made up now as high action with the striped sleeves and the check cap, now crosses over in front of Yates and goes on from in second place, Wing Darjon Jean. Yates is tucked away third, followed by Tungsten Strike the outside, and further back then is Distinction, right in the centre of the pack. Back on the inside of runners is Guadalajara, followed next by Sergeant Cecil, is reefing and pulling early, not settling for Alan Munro. He's used to much bigger fields, although he has raced in a few single-figure number uh, races. Uh, further back in the field then is Akarem, and uh, still Sergeant Cecil taking a very strong hold in last position. Racing up the home straight the first time, and it's high action out in front here by three links or so. To in second place, Wing Dajon, then in third is Tungsten Strike, who's on the outside of Yates. There, two or three lengths in advance of distinction. One length further back is Barolo. One length further back in the field, then is Reefscape, followed by Guadalajara. Media Puzzle is back fourth last, followed then by Sergeant Cecil and Hackerim, and still at the tail of the field is Mota Farid as they swing right handed now out of the home straight and they've got just over a mile and a half to travel in the Ascot Gold Cup and out in front here setting a good pace too is high action going on this will really suit the stayers I'd say trying to really tuck them along at a good pace by six or seven lengths here to up in second place at uh, this stage is Wing Dajon, then back in third is Yates, just being passed there by Tungsten Strike on the outside. They're followed further back by Distinction, and Barolo is tucked away on the inside, the yellow sleeves and cap. They're followed by Media Puzzle, and Reefscape is there as well. Well back is the dark blue jacket, or the royal blue jacket of Guadalajara, being tracked by Sergeant Cecil, who's held up at the rear of the field now. Mota Farid is well back, and so too is Akarem. Running down downhill now past the mile and the leader here is high action has come back to the field now leads by only a length of the tungsten strike who's up on the outside of wing Dajon. behind them as yates has had a perfect run a length away then distinction mick canand is just keeping an eye on down fallon ahead of him half a length further back in the field then follows barolo then reefscape from guadalajara as they go into swindley bottom they're followed by media puzzle the 2002 uh, melbourne cup winner uh, well back to is Akarim with Sergeant Cecil, his third last. The last of this stage is Mota Ferret, the rank outsider. Racing out of Swindley Bottom now, the stiff uphill climb towards home, less than six furlongs to travel. High action out in front here from Tungsten Strike, who's being ridden along to try and apply pressure, followed by Wing Dajon. The tempo's really increased. Yates is coming into it on the outside. Distinction is tracking him out wider, followed then by Barolo. Guadalajara coming into it as well. Well back then is Reefscape. Sergeant Cecil behind horses as they start to group up now and run to the home turn in the Gold Cup. High action, the leader from Tungsten Strike and Wing Dajon. Yates and around the outside, Guadalajara. A length and a half, the distinction pulled on from Evans. Sergeant Cecil needs a run as they swing for home now and Media Puzzle as well back. High action led them into the straight. Here's Yates on the outside, ranges up now and grabs the lead quickly. Followed then by Tungsten Strike. Distinction is under pressure. Out wider then as Reefscape, Sergeant Cecil weaving his way through, but Yates has gone for home now. Will he stay? Just over a furlong and a half to go. Distinction battling on, trying hard to make some inroads into this lead as they come inside the final furlong. It's Yates, three or four in front. Reefscape, Distinction, they're not going to catch him. Yates has outclassed them. Yates wins the Ascot Gold Cup by four or five lengths. Tight second photo between Reefscape and Distinction. And they're off. 
racing then over two and a half miles and uh, early on sorting themselves out the grey Lord de Sud is one of those that is racing in quite a prominent position. Tungsten Strike not ridden as aggressively as is sometimes the case and it's Monare in the cheek pieces and the last drop who are the closest pursuers to Lord de Sud. Tungsten Strike jumps in just behind the speed in the blue armlets. Yates races in about sixth tracking Allegretto. Fidel Mente is in mid division. Badam comes next on the outer of Cherry Mix another being ridden with more restraint than is sometimes the case over this longer trip. Then Sergeant Cecil, Bulwark, Rising Cross and Geordie Land is last of all. So Grays front and back as they wend their way up the home straight for the first time. And it's Lord de Sud who leads by a length from on the outside in second the last drop. Tungsten Strike races third. Montare has been reined back to fourth place in the noseband and cheek pieces, the white colours. On the inside of the also nosebanded Final Mente. In sixth place is Allegretto on the inside of Le Miracle with Yates in midfield at this stage in the darker blue. The lighter blue, the Godolphin colours on the grey belong to Cherry Mix ahead of Badam, then Sergeant Cecil Bulwark, Rising Cross and Geordie Land. This isn't strung out. There's a good 15 lengths first to last as Lord de Sud spearheads the trio up past the stands for the first time. The grey Lord de Sud, far side tungsten strike, moving closer now on the inside, taking that rails run when it was offered. In third is the last drop just ahead of Finalmente and Montare. The Miracle race is in sixth just ahead of Allegretto, two lengths back to Yates. Cherry Mix comes next. Cherry Mix just shied there off uh, of the rail of Badam, then Sergeant Cecil Bulwark, Rising Cross and Geordie Land. So Lord de Sud and even pace has them strung out over 15 lengths as they begin the descent past the mile and a half start. Lord of Sue leading the Gold Cup by a length and a half. Tungsten Strike back now in second place with the last drop in third. Finalmente races in fourth place just ahead of Montare and Limiracla racing in fifth and sixth. And then comes Allegretto in the red, white and blue. No move yet from Yates who's in about eighth place at this stage with Badam Cherry Mix Sergeant Cecil on the inside of Bulwark. Rising Cross and still Geordie Land is last of all as they've made their way down the side of the course and prepare to enter the final ten furlongs. So approaching the halfway stage and it's Lord de Sud who continues to lead from Tungsten Strike who's back to within half a length in second place. The last drop races in third ahead of Finalmente racing in fourth place. Then in fifth is Montare with Limiracla racing in sixth and then comes Allegretto. Cherry Mix got a little bit lit up on the descent and is now racing quite keenly as the pace just pauses. Yates is still one place ahead of him with Bulwark on that horse's outside in about eighth or ninth place. Sergeant Cecil comes next. Badam just precedes those with Rising Cross and Geordie Land as they turn at the far end and now begin this steady climb that'll take them inside the last mile of the Gold Cup. Lord de Sud has made every single yard of the running. Tungsten Strike has always been his shadow and races in second. The last drops in third as once again they just try and increase the pace slightly. Finalmente is in fourth as they pass the six. Le Miracle for the first time Yates begins to make a move up on the outside stylishly into fifth place. Badam and Cherry Mix try to cover that move. Sergeant Cecil just a little trapped away on the inside side as they pass the five and the leaders now begin to jockey for position the big guns prime to pull the trigger as they make their way now up towards the turn back towards home and the final four and a half. Lord de Sue, Tungsten strikes Rider niggles along. Yates continues to travel very well just on the heels of Finalmente and the last drop. Then comes Montare, Badam down the outside, Cherry Mix and Allegretto Sergeant Cecil manoeuvred out to get a clear sight of some daylight as they begin the turn back towards home. Yates travels up very strongly to come Come now and press Lord de Sud, the last drop. Cherry Mix is asked for an effort with Tungsten Strike. Sergeant Cecil's poorly positioned as Yates goes for home. Over two out, it's Yates who leads by a couple of lengths from Lord de Sud. Then back in third is Le Miracle. Geordie Land stays on stoutly. Yates going inside the final furlong. Geordie Land and Le Miracle, however, are closing on him as they go inside the last. All of a sudden, Yates has a battle as Geordie Land goes towards the far side. Yates weaving around in front, but has too many guns for them. Too much class, back-to-back -back gold cups. Yates wins by a length and a half. Geordie Land was second. And they're off and racing in the 2008 Gold Cup. La Maratha in the noseband with Fina Mente towards the inside. These two are the first to go on. Coastal Park towards the outside. The horse with the white face and the pink cap, the French Raider. Yates just slotting in behind Coastal Path. Up the inside, Diamond Quest with Geordie Land getting cover the grey towards the inside in the black sleeve jacket. A little bit keen is Sagara in these early stages as uh, they sort themselves out through the first quarter mile uh, towards the rear Allegretto 
is held up just in behind Regal Flush, Thundering Star towards the outside in the purple colours. Le Miracle and Dominic Berth set the pace here to Finalmente in second. Coastal Path is third. Diamond Quest is four, just on the inside of Yates in that dark blue jacket, Johnny Murta. Followed by Thundering Star, Sagara, Geordie Land, then Regal Flush second last, and lastly, Allegretto. Heading up the straight then and passing the two pole with well over a circuit to go. Coastal Path tugging his way into second place behind Le Miracle with Finalmente against the fence. Yates is now fourth, followed by Diamond Quest out wide, Thundering Star. Jordi Land next, then uh, races Sagara to the outside. Regal Flush in the first colours of Godolphin and Raya Moore content to sit and wait on Allegretto at the rear of the field. So they pass the judge with a circuit left to go in the Gold Cup. And it's Le Miracle that leads by a length and a half to Coastal Path in second place. Finalmente is third, then Yates in fourth place, followed by Diamond Quest, Thundering Star, and Geordie Lamb back in the field. And the last three, Sagara, Regal Flush, and Allegretto. And Allegretto would be a good dozen lengths behind the leader, Le Miracle, as they start the run down the back straight inside the last mile and a half now as they pass the King George start, the mile and a half start, and make the descent down towards Swinley Bottom, and Le Miracle striding on in front, a very stout stayer. Coastal Path is second. Finalmente last year's fourth on the inside of the winner for the last two years, Yates, followed by Diamond Quest, Thundering Star, then Sagara and Geordie Land together with Regal Flush towards the inside, and finally Allegretto. Continuing down towards Swinley then as they race now towards the last nine furlongs and still Le Miracle who's made all the running so far in this Gold Cup. Coastal Path, the unbeaten French Raider in second place, unbeaten in six races. Finalmente is third, Yates is stalking them in fourth place, followed then by Diamond Quest towards the inside as now they round the right-hander at Swinley Bottom and race towards the final seven furlongs. Allegretto remains at the tail of the field with the Godolphin pair Sagara and Regal Flush. Now about to meet the rising ground as they head back towards home and it's Le Miracle that's made it all so far from Coastal Path. Up the inside is Finalmente. Yates is right there within two or three lengths of the lead. They're tracked by Diamond Quest and then Thundering Star to the outside in the cheek pieces. Uh, these are tracked through back in the field by Sagara. Geordie Land's had plenty of cover. Regal Flush is next as now Yates moves up on the outside of Le Miracle and also Coastal Path and Johnny Murta riding very positively on Yates here, but Coastal Path is going with him. They race towards the final turn then, and the front two in the market are the front two in the race. Coastal Path on the inside of Yates, and Geordie now, Land now cruises through into third place, going well as he often does as they swing the final corner, less than three furlongs to go, and Murta now gets to work on Yates. Coastal Path on the inside. Geordie Land is appearing on the wide outside, but what will he find as they race inside the final corner? Quarter mile, three in a line here. Coastal Path, the far side. Yates in the centre. Geordie Land making a big race of it. And Geordie Land just about hits the front. Yates is fighting back. Coastal Path only back in third. Inside the final furlong, Yates gets back to the lead from Geordie Land and Coastal Path. And Yates now pulling two. Three legs clear. And Yates storms clear. And it's three gold cups for Yates in second Geordie Land. Racing then for the Gold Cup, Hindu Kush is out very quickly and is going to adopt the front-running role. Centennial niggle along to chase, Yates quickly drops in just behind the leader. Just kept a little wider in the early stages is Veracity. Uh, they're being tracked by the red cap of Sagara towards the inside. Pat Kai hasn't settled very well and uh, notably Frankie Dottori is keeping Veracity wide of the other runners through the first few furlongs. Washington Irving on the outside of Geordie Land and Eastern Anthem in the noseband is last of all. So Hindu Kush leading from out a little deeper, Veracity with Yates disputing second place in the darker blue jacket. Centennial is on the fence in yellow and red just ahead of Sagara in the red cap. Pat Kai still quite keen in sixth place ahead of Washington Irving. Geordie Land and still Eastern Anthem is at the rear of the field. So Hindu Kush continuing to lead. Yates has moved off outside the leader to ensure that uh, not being able to be pocketed by Veracity who's still racing a little wide as they continue to make their way up the straight for the first time. 
Centennial comes next ahead of Sagara. Then towards the inside, the white-faced pale colours of Patkai, Washington Irving, the grey Geordie Land and Eastern Anthem. So Hindu Kush uh, racing up past the grandstands in the grey colours. Yates in the centre of the leading trio. Veracity is out wider, the blue colours with the white face. Centennial comes next. Behind these we have Sagara. Patkai is in sixth place from Washington Irving, Geordie Land. And last of all is Eastern Anthem. And now Veracity is going to cross Yates and move through to sit second outside Hindu Kush. So Hindu Kush begins the turn down towards the final mile and a half, leading by about a length and a half from Veracity in second. Yates is now positioned on the outside of Centennial. They dispute third place. Sagara is in fifth. They had a Pat Kai who's half a length away on the inside. Then in seventh is Washington Irving. No move yet from Geordie Land who will play his cards late. And Eastern Anthem is last of all. So they're running downhill. And out in front, Hindu Kush setting an even pace from Veracity in second place on the outside. Centennial on the inner of Yates, those two dispute third position. Pat Kai's partner is Sagara, and still two by two, we find Geordie Land on the inside of Washington Irving, and at the rear of the field is Eastern Anthem. So down the side of the course, there's been a little change in the order. It is no more than an even pace. Hindu Kush with Veracity passive outside the leader in second place. Centennial comes next with Yates. They've disputed third for the last half mile. Pat Kai continues to race keenly. Further indication, it's not a frenetic gallop. Cigar is in sixth. Geordie Land has moved past Washington Irving and still at the rear of the field is Eastern Anthem. So they're turning at the far end. We're inside the final mile or so of the Gold Cup. Out in front, we still have Hindu Kush who's made every yard of the running. Veracities continue to race in second. Yates on the outside of Centennial, then Pat Kai and the red cap of Sagara. Geordie Land, Eastern Anthem's now relegated Washington Irving to be the back marker as they make their way up with six furlongs to travel. Hindu Kush with Veracity moving up a little more menacingly now and Yates covering Veracity's move to improve three wide. Centennial comes next. Behind these, Sagara and Pat Kai. Washington Irving has dropped away very tamely. So Veracity moving now to take up the lead for the first time. Yates, Johnny Murta just niggling along in second place. Centennial is back in third. Then comes in fourth place, fifth place, Sagara from Pat Kai and Geordie Land. Yates joins issue off the home bend and mixes it with Veracity and moves to the front for the first time. Centennial out of the pack. Pat Kai and Geordie Land are waiting in the wings. So the man who wears the crown, Yates, kicks for one final thrust up the Ascot straight in the Gold Cup. He found four lengths. Pat Kai and Geordie Land are yet to play their hands, but Yates got first run. Can he cling on and make history? He leads by four lengths from Pat Kai, then Sagara back in fourth place. This is Geordie Land. Yates leads by three, entering the final furlong. Pat Kai in second, Eastern Anthem out wide. It's Yates trying to hold on and make history from Pat Kai. 150 yards to go, and Yates is not for catching. All class, one of the greatest stayers of all time, one of the greatest training performances of all time. Four Gold Cups for Yates.